for when not, go over to new metric standard create start to this sketch and select the middle plane go over to circle and give it a diameter of 20 finish this sketch and go over to origin select offset from plane make sure it's the same plane that the circle is on and select 15 start a new sketch on that plane and give a circle the diameter of 15 this time finish the sketch and loft the two circles together remove the work plane from selecting visibility and start a 2D sketch this time on the cross-sectional view of the object select a circle of diameter 15 enter and project the geometry of the YZ and XZ plane diameter from the width is 20 and height will be 15 give a tangent to connect the two drawings together it doesn't need to be perfect for now make sure that they lock and trim the between part select the icon to tangent the lines and mirror it by selecting the three lines before moving on forward to the mirror line and select apply once you're done connect the two mirrored drawings together by drawing a line across finish the sketch and select extrude make sure you select both areas and a distance of 3 in between start a 2D sketch on the top and give this circle a diameter of 10 millimeters. finish your sketch and extrude through all start another 2D sketch this time on the XY plane pan over to the middle and you can start on the thread face draw a generic triangle, doesn't need to be perfect and connect the center line to the edge select horizontal constraint and give the angle of the triangle 60 project the geometry of YZ plane and the distance between the triangle and this projection will be 5 millimeters. the height will be 1 pan over and the height of the triangle will be 1.75 right click on the center line sorry left click and select construction line fillet the edge the corner the tip of the triangle to 0.25 finish your sketch and select coil select the y axis for the center line make sure your pitch and height are correct information make sure boolean is cut and select now we'll be perfecting the edges of the wing nut so fillet of 5 radius on the main 4 sides of the wing nut select ok move on towards the other edges fillet again this time of 1.5 for the top 4 surfaces select ok fillet again this time of the radius of 1 but it's on the four left and right sides select ok and now we can choose our material this will be stainless steel and to make it more realistic select the visual style of realistic save your file as wingnut and you're done